Hello friends, welcome to BISPTrainings.com. My name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to the video series for ClickSense. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how to set up a connection with web file or how to use a web file connector which is available with ClickSense and how can we visualize the data directly from a website into ClickSense. So first of all, let me share my requirement. So we have got a BISPTrainings.com training calendar and in this training calendar we used to post the upcoming trainings and the regular sessions or the demo sessions which we have planned along with the dates and the time and their status. Now my requirement is I would like to visualize it by using ClickSense and uh, I would like to find out that how, how many demo sessions on a specific date or uh, what are the total number of demo sessions are going on, how many regular sessions are going on, how many sessions have been started, what are the upcoming sessions, uh, how many sessions have been started or scheduled today and all. So I would like to visualize uh, everything by using ClickSense. So let's start analyzing this or visualizing the same thing by using ClickSense. So first of all, I'm going to load ClickSense. I double click on ClickSense and I load the ClickSense interface. And I got a message here to start a new app. So if you have already any existing app, you can continue with same or I can create a new app here. So I click on new app and I give a name BISP test app and click on create. Click on open app. Now the next thing is I'm going to create a connectivity with my online database with my this uh, with my online website URL so in order to do that I'm going to load I'm using data loader to load the data now we have got two ways to extract the data directly from a web URL either we can click on add data and there also we have got an option to load the data from a web URL or we can click on data load editor so in this tutorial I'm going to use data loader to load the data where we can load and we can do the transformation with the data by using script so I click on load editor and you can see there are few of the statements so these are the existing code which is the default code available with ClickSense and now I'm going to create a new connection so click on create new connection and here I click on web file choose web file here we need to provide the url so that's the url https w.bisptrainings.com training schedule.php that's the url which i have already copy pasted so i'll copy this and paste it here and i give a name bsp training so that's the name of the data set and create So BSP ring schedule web file and uh, you, if you want to make if you want to edit the connection you can click edit connection you can remove it so we can add multiple connections onto this at the simultaneously and click on select data so finally it will be going to connect with the data set and loads the data from there so as you can see here it's loading the data and it's showing only the first table right now the first table it contains the category and select category subcategory and courses but I'm not interested in this one I'm interested in the this particular table which contain the course class date time prerequisite status and attend so I uncheck this script and as soon as I uncheck this you can see below here we have got the load statement so the, the, that's the default load statement which is coming along with the data set so I uncheck this one and select the third one because that's the third table which contains the courses, class, date, time, and so on. And here, my this data is not properly transformed because we have the course, we have class, and also we will be getting some dummy column names. So I want to get rid of this dummy column names. So either we can use the transformation method to get rid of this dummy column names, or Click view or sorry, click sense has given an option that we can set the field names or the first column, the first row as a field name by using this option field names and click on embedded 
field names and as soon as I click embedded field names I got this so you see I get rid of that dummy column names and the first row will be turned into column so I got a course class date time prerequisites and status and finally I click on edit script if you want to filter any fields we have an option if you want to get rid of any uh, if you want to get rid of any field so we can get that as well we can remove it from here we can uncheck it and it will automatically remove from the or eliminate it from this load as well okay. and finally I click on insert a script so the script has been added here load script and then I'll save it and click on load data so basically find whenever we make any changes in the data set or whenever we load data or add data set or edit some script so we need to click on this load data so this will be extracting the data from the data sources it will fetch the records and store into the ram because click sense is an in memory processing tool so it does the pro it, it loads the data into its own memory in, in memory and then it utilize that data for data visualization and finally i close it and as you can see here it's also showing that if are there any forced error or any synthetic keys has been formed within this click sense so synthetic keys or to know more about synthetic key you can go through my video especially for related especially related with synthetic keys so that will give you a clear overview what are synthetic keys and how to, how to get rid of those and finally I click on close here then I get back to that's the data manager right now we are on data load data load editor that's the data manager from this data load manager we can see the data in the form of tables in a tabular format so it will be loading the tables and we can click on it so there are seven fields So that's the data manager and uh, I would like to work on uh, if you want to look at the data model viewer you can click on data model viewer so if any association has been formed between multiple data sets so this will give you an overview that what are the tables what are what type of association has been formed between tables so all the association or the complete data model we can check it from here finally I would like to work on my app so I click on app overview okay I click on app overview and I'm going to create a new sheet first so I click on new sheet and I give a name BISP training analysis sheet and open it I'm going to edit this because right now the sheet is empty it does not contain any visualization so on the extreme left we have various charts or the custom objects or the field so we can look at the field these are the fields available in our data set attend and from here we can filter if we have loaded data from multiple data sets we can specifically look for the fields from a specific tables by switching to that particular table right now we have only one table so I'll go with all tables and from chart I drag and drop this bar chart now in this bar chart we need to add the dimensions and the measures so for dimension I would like my requirement is I want the class wise count basically how many regular sessions would be there and how many demo sessions are there so that's my requirement so I add a dimension as a class I enter as a class and for measures I as class and I'm going to use an aggregate function count of class so you can see here we are getting options we are getting a bar chart which represents the total number of demo classes and total number of regular classes we can customize it sorting can be done if you want to apply sorting add-ons can be done data handling is there show zero values if you want to eliminate the zero values we can do that reference lines if any reference lines if trend lines we are talking about trend lines so for really to more know more about trend lines you can go to my another video really mainly for trend lines in journal we can show the title we can customize the title presentation part horizontal and vertical grid line spacing I don't if you don't want to show grid line spacing and custom would be medium and value labels so value labels by default it is off so 
I want to show the values on the data points. So to show the values on the data points, we have an option here, values on data points. So you can see there are 12 demo, there are total 12 demos and 14 regular sessions. Color and legend. So colors, uh, I want to customize the color. So single color instead of single, I want to as a dimension. And we can also specify the colors. 100 colors or persistent colors. And by measure or by exploration. So that, so we have different ways to present the colors and show legend if you want to show legend here so the legend position is right or bottom or left or top where would you like to show the legend so I'm okay with this this legend at the top position x-axis class label and this and y -axis. so this kind of customization can be done and the range would be auto so range is auto either we can set the minimum and the maximum value or we'll go with the auto one so minimum i want to start from four and uh, the maximum i want to go for 50 or let's say 20 or we can go for auto as well minimum and maximum both can be set and once we done with the customization we can drag and drop and make some changes into it once we are done with that we'll simply done it click on done and we save it so we have got this chart and now i would like to apply filter on this chart i have got a regular session i have got a demo session i would like to be i would like to apply filter uh, based on some data set let's say i would like to find out about the click view or click sense or tableau or any other or let's say uh, hyperion so quickly i apply filter here and i type hyperion and i can select this ID. so there are how many demos there are two demos and two regular sessions to do more customization we can get back to its customization part and we can change the presentation horizontal and vertical I think yes. if you want to do edit uh, apply and uh, I'm okay with this okay zero. because I set the minimum zero that's why and the maximum I set it so, so the customization is possible as required as desired and if you want to remove the filter so I quickly cancel the filter and I got the, got the message so again it's going up so instead of that what we can do we can go for auto so instead of setting this up I can set this to auto so to set this back to auto I uncheck this and auto it will check auto. it will set automatic the range will be set automatic so if you want to apply more filter, we have an option. We can apply more filter. Let's say Salesforce. So I can go, I can check how many regulars and demo sessions are for Salesforce. Similar to that, if I want to go for Hyperion, so I've got an option here. Hyperion, I can make a selection for Hyperion. So there are total three sessions for demo and four sessions for regular. And that's related with to Hyperion, Hyperion Financial Management, Oracle Hyperion Financial Data, and Salesforce Basic and Advanced Administration. And if you want to get rid of this, we can cancel the selection and move this. So that's how we can quickly visualize the data directly from a. So I hope this video is very helpful to you, and uh, now you are, this will help you to directly extract the data from a web file and quickly visualize the data. If you have any queries, you can write to us on www.bsptrainings.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos on ClickSense. You can connect with us for the customized training on ClickSense. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.